Hi, sexy. How can I help? Learning command word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please learn the command word according to the prompt. Please say the first command to be learned. This is the DF Robots Gravity Offline Language Learning Voice Recognition Sensor module which is so far the best offline voice recognition module I have ever used. I'm seeing this after testing this remarkable piece of hardware. So before I'm going to explain anything like its features and specifications, allow me to demonstrate its functionality and then you can decide for yourself whether it's worth using. I have connected the Gravity Offline Voice Recognition module to the Arduino Nano but instead of using the Arduino Nano, you can also use the Arduino Uno and Arduino Mega. You can also use it with Raspberry Pi and ESP32 etc. Because this voice recognition module is compatible with 3.3V and 5V controller boards. Anyway, as usual, I'm using my designed Arduino LoRa development board because it already has most of the electronics components like relays, OLED display module, a 5V buzzer and a powerful 5 volt and 3 amps regulated power supply. Anyways, for the demonstration purposes, I have connected a 10 kg torque servo motor, a 110 or 220 volt AC bulb, and this board already has this 5 volt buzzer. So we are going to control all these loads using built-in voice commands and using custom voice commands. Let me also tell you, if you are planning on using similar high torque servo motors or GSM modules that draw more current then I highly recommend use an external 5 volt and 3 amps power supply like the one you can see on the screen. The same 5 volt and 3 amps power supply I have added on this development board. So I don't need to use an external 5 volt power supply. I can use any power source between 9 and 28 volts. So if you want to make this development board or if you want to make only the power supply then you can watch my video tutorials. I have added links to all the related videos in the description. By the way, it's not compulsory to use these kinds of loads. You can start with LEDs and once you learn how to use built-in voice commands, how to record custom voice commands and how to use them, then you can control pretty much anything. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate right now. So let's go ahead and power up the Arduino board. The voice recognition module has two LEDs, the red and blue. The red color LED is the power indicator and the blue color LED is the wake up status indicator. So initially when you power up the voice recognition module, if both the LEDs are on, you can start seeing voice commands and if the blue color LED is off, then it means the module is in standby mode and during this mode, it doesn't accept any voice commands except the wake up word which refers to the word that switches the voice recognition module from standby mode to operational mode. It serves as the initial point of interaction between the user and voice recognition module. I'm explaining this point in detail because in the beginning I also got confused. When I powered up the module, I was repeatedly saying the wake up word, but the module wasn't showing any response and it wasn't switching from the standby mode to the operational mode. I fixed this issue by not doing anything. I just waited for a while and when I heard the voice assistant saying, I'm off now, then I understood the whole scene. So each time you power up this module, you will have to wait for 20 seconds so that the voice recognition module enters into the standby mode and then you can wake up the module using the built-in or custom wake up word. Let me practically show it to you and I'm going to place the mic next to the onboard speaker so that you can clearly hear the voice assistant. You're welcome to use the voice record. Yes, I'm here. I'm off now. So when you hear I'm off now, from this point you can wake up the module. The built-in wake up command is hello robot, but you can also record a custom wake up phrase. I will demonstrate this in a minute. Anyway, let's first start with the built-in wake up and voice commands. Let me also tell you, there are a total of 121 built-in fixed command words. Hello robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. 
Open the door. Okay, the door is open. Close the door. Okay, the door is closed. Open the door. Okay, the door is open. Close the door. Okay, the door is closed. Turn on the buzzer. Okay, the buzzer is on. Turn off the buzzer. Okay, the buzzer is off. When the buzzer is on, the voice recognition module still works perfectly. So it means it can be used in noisy environments. Now let's check from how far we can control the devices using voice commands. Let's start with a distance of 6 meters and let me tell you this kind of test I have never performed on any voice recognition module. Hello robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay. Open the door. Okay, the door is open. Close the door. Okay, the door is closed. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay. This is unbelievable. Seriously, I'm totally amazed. It can be used in wheelchairs, robots, cars, security systems, home automation projects. You can even use it to control your PC or laptop. Anyway, next I'm going to use custom wake up and voice commands. You can also record custom words and phrases in other languages. You can record 17 custom commands and you can use any sound as a command. For the demonstration purposes, I recorded 4 custom commands. 2 in English language, Servo 90 and Servo 0. And 2 commands in Urdu or Hindi language, Light On Karo and Light Off Karo. Let me demonstrate it for you. Hi Sexy. How can I help? Servo 90. Doing it. Servo 0. Doing it. Light on karo. Okay, got it. Light off karo. Okay. Light on karo. Done. Light off karo. Okay. Servo 90. Servo zero. How did you like this voice recognition module? Let me know in a comment and click the subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of its key specifications. It's interfacing with Arduino, how to use built-in command words, how to record custom voice commands, and how to use them in programming. So without any further delay, let's get started. This speech recognition sensor module is built around an offline voice recognition chip which can be directly used without an internet connection. It comes with 121 built-in fixed command words eliminating the need for users to record their own voices. Here is a list of all the built-in voice commands with their desired IDs. and support the addition of 17 custom command words. Any sound could be trained as a command such as whistling, snapping or even Kate meows which brings great flexibility to interactive audio projects. IDs from 5 to 21 are already assigned to custom commands. We have a total of 9 learning related commands which I will explain later in this video. It's compatible with 3.3 volt and 5 volt controller boards like Arduino, Raspberry Pi, ESP32, STM32, ESP8266 and so on. It supports both I2C and UART communication. You have a switch to select any of the two interfaces. Since this is an offline voice recognition module, so you don't need an internet connection, which makes it more secure privacy as users don't have to worry about their conversation content being recorded and upload it to the cloud. The module features a dual microphone design with better noise resistance and a longer recognition distance, making it relatively accurate and reliable even in noisy environments. I already demonstrated this and it was quite impressive. It comes with a built-in speaker and an external speaker interface for real-time voice feedback of recognition results. You can use this switch to select the onboard or external speaker 
It supports an external speaker of 8 ohms and 3 watt passive speaker. And some of its key specifications are its operating voltage is 3.3 to 5 volts. Maximum operating current is less than or equal to 370 milliohms at 5 volts. Communication interfaces are I2C and UART. I2C address is 0x64. Fixed commands are 121. Fixed wake up command is 1. Custom commands are 17 and onboard microphone sensitivity is minus 28 dB. It has a total of 4 wires clearly labeled. If the switch is set to the I2C interface, then the green wire is the SDA and the blue wire is the SCL. And if the switch is set to the UART interface, then the green wire is the TX and the blue wire is the RX. If you are using a 5 volt compatible controller board, then connect the red wire to the 5 volt and ground wire to the controller ground pin. And if you are using a 3.3 volt compatible controller board, then connect the red and black wires to the controller 3.3 volt and ground pins. If you want to know more about this module, you can read my article or you can visit the DF Robots official product page. I have added links in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the connections. Connect the VCC and ground wires of the wire recognition module to the Arduino 5 volt and ground. Since I am using the I2C interface, so that's why I have connected the green and blue wires to the Arduino A4 and A5 pins. Connect the red and brown wires of the servo to the external 5 volt regulated power supply and connect the yellow wire to the Arduino digital pin D2. Out of these 4 relays, I am using only one relay and it's connected to the Arduino digital pin D4. The 5 volt buzzer is connected to the Arduino digital pin D8. You can follow this circuit diagram. Next I am going to explain how to record a custom wake up word and voice commands. Ultim Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultim Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Easily work together with your mechanical team and forget about the days of swapping design files. Every design change stays in sync between Ultium Designer and Soderbergh's PTC crew, Autodesk Inventor, Autodesk Fusion 360 or Siemens NX. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. One of the best things about Ultium Designer is that you can share your designs with your team members using Ultium 365. They can check your design, leave comments and if there are any issues, they can fix them from anywhere in the world. Ultium Designer also uses the world's fastest company search engine, Octopart, so you won't have any difficulty in searching for components. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. We have a total of 9 learning related commands. Let's say if you want to record a new wake up word or a phrase then simply say learning wake word and then follow the voice assistant. Let's do it. Hello robot. How can I help? Learning wake word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please say the wake word to be learned. Hi sexy. Learning successful. Please say it again. Hi sexy. Learning successful. Please say it again. Hi sexy. Okay. Learning completed. Now I can use hi sexy command to wake up the module. I'm off now. Hi sexy. Yes, I'm here. Now let's record four custom voice commands. For this we will have to say learning command word. And then we will have to follow the voice assistant. So let's do it. Hi sexy. How can I help? Learning command word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please learn the command word according to the prompt. Please say the first command to be learned. Servo 90. Learning successful. Please say it again. Servo 90. Learning successful. Please say it again. Servo 90. Okay. Learn the first command successfully. Please say the second command to be learned. 
Servo zero. Learning successful. Please say it again. Servo zero. Learning successful. Please say it again. Servo zero. Okay. Learn the second command successfully. Please say the third command to be learned. Light on karo. Learning successful. Please say it again. Light on karo. Learning successful. Please say it again. Light on karo. Okay. Learn the third command successfully. Please say the fourth command to be learned. Light off karo. Learning successful. Please say it again. Light off karo. Learning successful. Please say it again. Light off karo. Okay. Learn the fourth command successfully. Please say the fifth command to be learned. Exit learning. Okay. The learning mode is exited. After you have recorded the voice commands, don't forget to say exit learning. Exactly the same way you can record other voice commands. Let me remind you, you can only record 17 custom voice commands and you can use these other commands to relearn and delete wake up and command words. Anyway, next I'm going to explain how to use the built-in and custom commands in the programming to control anything we want. But first I'm going to install the required library. While the Arduino IDE is open, go to the sketch menu. Then to include library and click on the aid.zip library. Browse to the location and select the library zip folder. You can download this library from the article available on electronicclinic.com and click on the open button. You can see the library has been added. I started off by adding the required header files. This is the easiest part and I have already commented most of the instructions so let's go to the loop function. When we say a command, this instruction simply get the ID corresponding to the command word and stores it in the variable cmd ID and then we check the IDs. 103 is the ID of turn on the light. You can confirm this from the built-in commands list. You can see 104 is the ID of turn off the light. So I have used the same ID in the programming to turn off the light. Similarly, 141 is the ID of open the door and 142 is the ID of close the door. 88 and 89 are the IDs to turn on and turn off the buzzer. 5, 6, 7 and 8 are the IDs of custom voice commands. And let me tell you whenever you start learning command words, it will start from the first command so each time you add a new command, you will have to record the previous voice commands as well. So what I suggest is that first write all your custom voice commands on a paper and then record those in one go. This is how I did it and it worked and I have already demonstrated this. So that's all for now. Hello robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Open the door. Okay. The door is open. Close the door. Okay. The door is closed. Open the door. Okay. The door is open. Close the door. Okay. The door is closed. Turn on the buzzer. Okay. The buzzer is on. Turn off the buzzer. Okay. The buzzer is off. Hello, robot. Yes. I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay. Open the door. Okay. The door is open. Close the door. Okay. The door is closed. Turn on the light. Okay. Turn off the light. Okay. Hi, sexy. How can I help? Servo 90. Servo zero. Doing it. Light on karo. Okay, got it. Light off karo. Okay. Light on karo. Done. Support me on Patreon for more Light videos. Off karo. I hope you okay. like today's episode. Servo like 90. and share this video with your friends. See you Servo in the next episode. And thanks for watching.